Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Ajo here with KissAnalog.com. Today I have a a review of a, an anonometer. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> uh, this guy here it measures uh, airspeed and temperature and humidity. So when you have fans or such, you know, in your equipment, it's kind of fun to measure this. It's, it becomes useful once you, you know. Once you have one around, it's one of those things you go, oh wow, oh I can use it for this and that. It's it's kind of fun. So I've got this Class D amplifier and I've got this switching power supply. It has a fan on top of it and I can measure the fan speed with that. And once I put it inside the box I'm going to put the stuff into, with whatever vents I might have, I can check to see how that airflow uh, works. And you know, if you're designing a box where you're putting a fan on one end, maybe you're going to put a fan on the other end, uh, you can see how well that airflow comes across. It's kind of interesting. Um, also, the temperature, humidity, that kind of stuff. If you're interested in, you know, taking down that data when you're doing tests, you might be doing something for a customer, for instance. You might be a heating and air conditioning guy. But even just here on the bench and at work, I, I find these kind of handy, you know. Um, I bring in the mechanical engineer and I'll say, hey, does this make sense to you? And they're like, yep, that looks right. And I'm like, oh, that's cool because I'm learning how airflow works <laughs> and how to measure it. So it's, it's pretty neat. It me measures speed, but it also measures like volume. You can put in the volume of your box and it'll tell you how much air you're moving. So I think it's pretty handy. And for around I want to say it's around thirty dollars, just over thirty dollars for one of these. It's it's not a lot of money to, uh, and if you're using fans to have something like this. So, and the temperature I can get from other things, but humidity is kind of nice. If depending on where you are, we're in a pretty dry climate here, so it usually doesn't become a factor. But it is kind of nice to have those measurements. Um, you know, depending on what you're working on. So I just wanted to show this because they sent this. They did send this to me. They provided it for free. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll try out one of those things. And then once I got it, I've had it for a while. Sorry that I haven't reviewed it yet. But I have, I've have. i had it for a while. I've taken it to work. I've used it around here. And I just wanted to kind of show you what it does. All right? So let's come over to your bench. And I'll show you this little guy. All right, guys. So this is a Class D amplifier here. And this is a power supply that's going to run it. And I've got a couple loads over here. And a little preamp board over here I'm going to put in the box. So I'm going to put all this stuff in a box and test it as an amplifier. But here is the instrument that I want to uh, show you today. Kind of nice. Um, here is some information about it. All the stuff it can do. Alright. And when you open it up which I've had it open because I've used it for a little bit. You got this pretty simple little manual. Uh, it's pretty intuitive. I've never used one of these before. And, you know, I just picked up start pushing buttons and was able to use it. So that's what the manual looks like. So one thing I want to point out here is we have max, min, average. Okay. We have velocity, flow, and area. So we can set that up so we know how much volume we're actually pushing. And then we have the dew point or the wet bulb temperature. Okay. Or you can cancel those. And then unit temperature, you can go Fahrenheit or Celsius. And then you got units of volume. Okay. And you also have units of air velocity. And then you have unit of cross-sectional area. Meter squared or foot squared. And then up here we have relative humidity and a battery indicator. Then on this page we have, you know, the display obviously air velocity 0.4 to 30 meters per second. Sampling rates one reading per second. The sensor is air velocity, flow sensor, angled vein, arms and bearing temperatures, whatever, all that stuff. And then both font wind scale, 0 to 12, maximum average, data hold, Ambient temperature is minus 20 to 60 C, and ambient humidity is 5% to 95% relative humidity. Wet bulb temperature minus 20 to 60 C, 
dew point temperature minus 50 to 60 C and operating conditions 0 to 40 C uh, less than 80 percent relative humidity and altitude less than 2,000 meters storage conditions minus 10 to 50 C humidity less than 80 percent relative humidity and auto power off is in 10 minutes which can be canceled and we have three trip ways so one thing just kind of go over this quickly I've got the backlight on you can see it's pretty bright right so I'll leave it on for now and it'll turn off but see it's got these little grippy things for you to hold it so that makes it kind of nice and there's battery compartment and that's about it so it works really simply uh, we have the uh, unit of function right here. Right now we have, up here we have relative humidity and temperature, it's an F. So right here, units with airflow, we have CFM or CMS, so, and CMM. So I'll leave it in CFM. And then function, we can put feet per meter, meter squared. And that's where you, by the way, and that's where you put the uh, your area in so you can uh, judge how much volume of air you're blowing. And here we are at CFM for airflow. So let's go ahead and just try it out, okay? Yeah, let's just do it. I'm going to turn it on and see when I hold it there, nothing's happening here. I'm going to zoom in down here so you can watch it. All right, guys, got it zoomed in. And see, I just put that kind of flush down on there and... You know, you put this right here in the center, obviously, and you'll get the airflow, okay? So, I'm not going to block any vents or anything like that. I'm just going to put it like this, and let's see what happens. So, here, let me just turn this thing on. And there you go. So, almost 6,000 CFMs. Okay, it's picked up speed a little bit. So, just holding that there. Now, I don't know if I cover these up, if I change it. Look, it doesn't seem to change it at all. Well, maybe, a, eh, yeah, it didn't really change it. So that's what another interesting thing. I thought that, you know, maybe it's pulling a lot of air from here. Let me stop the fan. Stop the fan. And then look. It doesn't take very much to get this fan blade moving. So it's not really taking any air from those vents, which kind of surprised me. Uh, there's a bunch of vents along the bottom on both sides. And I'd have to kind of turn it up to get that. And then over here, I got my cables in the way. So it can pull air that way too. And I imagine a lot of the air is probably getting pulled through this way. But that's one thing with this. You can creep around and see, like they put vents here, vents here. Now I can start taping up some of these things to see, you know, where the air is actually coming from. But yeah, kind of interesting. Because if you don't want to block your airflow... You want, and you've designed a box like this, it's kind of nice to see where the air is coming from. But right here, it just takes off like crazy, you can see. So, yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy to use. In here, it's 73.8 degrees, 38, 39% relative humidity. So, yeah, about as simple as that, guys. And you can hold the measurement, of course. You get a little hold sign. So if I'm spinning, I say, oh, let's hold that. There we go. So... And then I can change the units while that, well, I thought I could. No, I can't change units once I've held it. Okay, so I got to let go. All right, guys, let's try a few things. Okay, right there we have, what is that, uh, meters per second. Okay, I held that. Let's turn that off. Let's go again. And there's knots, or there's kilometers per hour. Okay, and there's kilometers per hour. All right, and that is, uh, what is that? Is that miles per hour? And that's feet per minute. And there's feet per second. Now, when I'm measuring these, I'm not letting it get up full speed before I hold it. So, they're not going to all, you know. There's 70, se, uh, and there's knots. 
and did I show meters per second? <laughs> and there's um, CFM. Let's see what CMS is. That'd be your CMS. And there's CMM. So that's about it. I mean, pretty simple, pretty fun to use. But yeah, once I get it in the box, I can see where my air is coming in and how it's flowing. And yeah, it's kind of fun. You know, I used to use back in the day sometimes when I was trying to figure things out, use little air streamers to see where the air is flowing. But this is, you know, a lot more scientific, right? So I thought it was nice they wanted to send this to me. And for the cost, but I thought, hey, it's pretty low cost. So to have something that you don't necessarily need all the time or maybe get by without it. It's just kind of a fun little instrument to have. So I've had a good time with this little guy. And, you know, that fan moves so easily. You can just walk and see the air move. So, uh, but it does seem like, you know, comparing it to uh, the specs of the fans, it does seem to work. And, you know, one interesting thing I can tell you is I, I have a product that I had a fan on one side and a fan on the other side. And I measure the airspeed going into the box. And I'm like, well, show the mechanical injury. Go, yep, that's about right. That's about what it's supposed to be. Then I measure on the outgoing, and it's twice as fast. <laughs> and it's like, it wasn't obvious to me that that would happen. Uh, but I guess the other fan is moving a lot easier because it's getting air forced into it. And so it actually was moving uh, twice the speed, just about twice the speed. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, that was just something I learned by playing around with one of these guys. So there you go. Uh, nice old case, put it in. And pretty simple instrument just to have around when you need it for around 30 bucks. Oh, by the way, again, two thumbs up to my patrons. Appreciate you guys. Um, uh, you can become a patron for as little as a dollar a month down below. And you can also support the channel by hitting that thank you button down below. That's pretty cool. That's kind of like a way to do a one-time donation. Buy me a cup of coffee, that kind of thing. And, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thumbs up the video if it was useful to you. That helps a lot. Free way to support the channel. Uh, YouTube analytics, you guys have heard that before. But, yeah, it does help. And appreciate you watching. And I'm going to play around with this a little bit more. i got to put this thing in a box. And I'm just kind of interested to see how that air moves around. Because the vents in the box weren't really designed for a power supply like this with the fan in it. But, you know, it's meant for normal uh, conduction or convection. And so I'm just really curious how that's going to work. We'll let you know when I review this in the box. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.